This video is rated T or Tickle Me Pink. What's going on shitheads? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly utilize the new magazine loadout technology that we have from this wipe. I've seen a few videos on this, but none of them really explained how to use this correctly. And I wanted to make sure I completely understood this system before I pushed out a video. Sure, I could have got more views. Sure, I could have farmed you guys for more money. However, I wanted this video to be as pertinent and helpful as possible. So whether you're a new player or a super advanced player, you have a lot to utilize here. This will utilize methods similar to bottom loading magazines that you're familiar with, but we'll also utilize some very clever methods. They're going to go ahead and make our headshots more effective. We're going to defeat plates significantly faster while also being extremely threatening to soft armor, like even air mid level three. We can even do fun things like add tracer rounds looped in our actual magazine so we can see where our bullets are going. If we're shooting from the shoulder for point firing and strafing, for example, which has been a game changer for my point firing this wipe. The only thing I'm going to ask of you guys is for you to smash the dislike button and tell me to commit toaster bath in the comments down below. Let's hop into this video after a word from our sponsor. I just want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Before we go any farther, I actually signed a contract with them where I have boxes to give out to you guys. If you've never had HelloFresh and you live in the US, I can get you guys free food this week. Just go ahead and shoot me a message on Discord. Tell me you're interested in the HelloFresh deal. I also get paid when I give you guys free groceries. So go ahead and get in contact with me. You're doing me a favor. I'm doing you a favor. Let's continue with the video. All right. Now we're inside of my nice and organized stash. If you guys haven't seen my stash management video, I'll have that in the top right right now. We have a variety of different magazines to show. So all of these are 545 magazines. We have a 10 rounder, a 30 rounder, 45 rounder, and a 95 rounder. I'm gonna go ahead and make a preset together and show you guys exactly how this works. It is a little complicated, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this guys. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on a magazine, go to load from preset and create new preset. So up here, you're gonna be able to name your preset here. So we're gonna go ahead and do magazine loadout video, right? Or vid, I guess that works too. And you're gonna see in the bottom, it'll go ahead and show the magazine. So the first thing you guys need to know about this system is it's based on a caliber and not on magazine. So we, once we make this preset here, we'll be able to use it on all of these magazines. So you're not gonna need to go ahead and it's not gonna be super monotonous. You're not gonna make it for every single magazine. It's by the caliber. So how does the system work originally? So this top right here is gonna be bullets that are on the top of the magazine. So the first to be shot, this down here is going to be the bottom of the magazine and the last to be shot. And here is the loop. So the way this system works is it actually prioritizes the bullets that you put on the bottom. So let's say I wanna go ahead and have something like a BT round. So if you're at the end game of Escape from Tarkov, you can purchase these rounds from proper level four. And they're pretty good all around 545 round. It's like the successor to PP rounds. So let's say, okay, I want to go ahead and make sure all of my magazines have 10 BT on the bottom of them, right? Then we're going to go ahead and say, I want something like armor piercing rounds on top. So let's say like black tip BS 545 rounds. We want to go ahead and make sure we have these on top. Now, this is just super simple here. You're maybe not learning a whole lot if you played Tarkov before, but We'll go ahead and we have to add something to the loop here. So we'll just add one BS for the sake of adding to the loop here. Let's go ahead and try and go ahead and load this 10 round magazine. So if I go ahead and I say magazine load up vid, I load this up. What bolts are going to be inside of it? 545 of BT. And if you didn't know about that, I'm sure you did, but you can just go ahead and click magazines and tilt them and then tell what bolt they are by looking at them. So if we go look at BT and you see that it matches it. And if I were, for example, go ahead and put uh, BP in here, it'll have black tips at the front so you can actually identify ammunition without unloading it and just checking that way so put this back in my inventory so this only had 545 bt and that is because it goes ahead and it prioritizes putting in that bottom section in first so even though we have ps top loaded it's always going to load your bottom first all right let's take this a step further with this loop here sure i see a lot of people go ahead and put armor piercing rounds on top and they'll say they want to be beating their rest of their magazines so then they just go ahead and say okay well i want bt in this loop and then they'll go ahead and add a number the number doesn't really matter here so if we go ahead and save so you'll see a 5 10 10 then we go ahead here and load from preset with a 30 round magazine there's 30 bullets in this magazine now why is that well it's because the loop is going to repeat itself endlessly until the magazine is full so if we go ahead and pull that back up you'll see we're gonna go ahead and have five bs rounds on top then the loop is going to consist of all BT. It doesn't matter if there's a 10 right here. It's going to fill that loop with BT. And how does it determine what the loop is? So 5 and 10 with your top and your bottom. It's already loaded the bottom. It's already loaded the top. And it's going to fill the remainder with that loop. So 15 rounds in the middle are BT. Is that the same ammunition as the bottom? Yes. But if we were to go ahead and use something like 7 and 40, and let's say just only have one on this right here. Go ahead and unload. You'll see right there, 5 BS, 5 BT. 
we go ahead and load this back in and now when we unload this we're going to have 5 bs 10 bt and then 15 7 and 40 just like that but let's go ahead and take this a step further so let's go back to our magazine loadout and let's talk more about this loop so we understand that the loop is going to always fill in the magazine regardless of the magazine capacity right so same principle for you to load this 95 drum right here we'd get 5 bs 10 bt and then the remaining what was that 70 excuse me 80 would be 7 and 40 ammunition right so let's go ahead and take this a step further now if you don't know a ton about ammunition in this game bs is one of the best 545 armor piercing rounds in the game something that you guys might not know about is the better the penetration stat of a round is the more likely it is to ricochet so ricochet is actually a hidden stat in the game all helmets have varying ricochet chance and a ricochet means it'll just block the bullet it bounces off it's not like soaking around for example so when a plate stops around it soaks it it stops around entirely a ricochet is it just bounces around right off and it's just an rng chance however the rng is based on a few factors like the penetration of the round so let's say a bs is a very high penetration round and a better example this would actually be to go ahead and put on needler ammunition let me see if i can see some needler ammunition here here it is pp bs egolnik or needler ammunition has the highest penetration of any 545 now you might immediately think yes this is exactly what i want for headshotting well in the current meta of escape from tarkov people are not wearing alton's they're not wearing a rise tees and you do not need a massive penetration value to pen helmets the strongest helmets you're going to be running into realistically are going to be around level four armor maybe a bastion with like a carbon fire plate or a fast empty with a slap plate that might be a little bit higher armor but only in one very specific region so just keep that in mind and track with me so people a lot of times will go ahead and put their best armor piercing rounds on top right so if you're going for headshots let's say you're playing a map like shoreline where you're gonna be running on the outside of the resort and you have some quests to do well you're probably going to get opportunities where players are in front of you and you have time to line up a headshot and you might think needler ammunition is the best to have in your magazine for that reason and i would argue you actually don't want to run your highest pen ammunition at the very top of your magazine in these instances where you're going to be going for like a one tap two tap three tap what i strongly recommend you do is you put something that has enough penetration that it's going to go through level four armor no problem but it's going to have less of a ricochet chance this is actually going to secure you more headshot kills off the rip so what i like to do is go ahead in the top of my magazine here and put something like 545 bp this is going to rip straight through a level four helmet and it's going to have significantly less of a ricochet chance than something like needler if we go ahead here and then push this back up, we can actually add a new bullet to the top of this magazine. So in the first three rounds of your magazine, those are probably gonna be for your one taps and you actually do get that opportunity to put someone down with just a headshot. But in the event that you didn't secure those, you're probably gonna be in a fully automatic scenario or maybe you're putting shots on target scenario and you're gonna be probably aiming for the thorax neck region. This is where we're gonna go ahead and get higher armor piercing rounds on target, right? I like to go ahead and then put something like five, six, seven, doesn't matter the exact quantity, it depends on your situation, how much ammunition you have. I like to put a high tier armor piercing round underneath those BPs so we get our helmet defeaters right here, and now we have plate defeaters right here. If this was to be shot on a plate as well, it would also go ahead and really do a ton of damage. This is just going to do slightly more and defeat that plate if we're in one of those scenarios. Both of these rounds are also, if they go past the plate, going to go ahead and go straight through the air mid and do immense damage to someone's thorax. So now we're in an even better situation. Now let's talk about the loop here. So if you don't know about all the ammo properties of 545, I don't blame you. Ammunition has two factors you need to know about in this situation. Some ammo increases recoil and some ammo reduces recoil. You can also find ammunition that is tracer and all ammunition has a critical strike modifier. So it's basically a percentage chance that the bullet like tumbles, it fragments and it does extra damage. Now you can't actually go ahead and crit anyone to the thorax or to the head, but every other body part you can crit them. So what is special about 7 and 40 ammunition? 7 and 40 is actually purchasable this wipe at proper level four after you do the quest calibration so 7 and 40 reduces the recoil of your weapon when you're shooting it right it also has extremely low crit chance most rounds in the game have around 20 to 30 percent crit chance this round only has about a two percent crit chance but it is much more likely to make people bleed and heavy bleed is a trade-off so that's a very interesting properties on some ammunition 
It also has high flush damage and high penetration. And we're going to go ahead and make that the interior of the magazine, you know, the loop of the magazine, because we're going to get those recoil control benefits as we hold down that spray for longer. We're going to be applying bleeds. Sometimes, you know, you just get a few shots on target. One goes to a plate, one goes to mid, and it gets a heavy bleed going. That enables a situation where you can go ahead and move positions. You can go ahead and push him while he's hemostatting, etc. But the main reason we have this in this loop is for the recoil reducing traits while also still being a high tier round. And you can do this with all sorts of rounds in the game. This doesn't have to be exactly 545. The reason I've chose 545 is it has a different array of bullets with a lot of special properties, but you can go ahead and utilize this method with any other caliber. You will want to go ahead and look at the ammo sheet. You can go ahead and get this ammo sheet by just going over to my Twitch channel, type my exclamation point ammo, and you can make some very interesting magazines yourself. But Let's talk more about the loop here. So what do I like to do? Well, I like to actually do two seven and 40 or three seven and 40, and then I'll go ahead and grab something like a BT round. So what are the special properties of BT round? A BT round has a pretty high penetration, worse than a BP and a BS. So it's bottom loaded, but we still wanna have decent ammunition in this. Let's say I'm taking this to labs. I still wanna be able to go ahead and pen level four armor per se, right? And it's also a tracer round. So now if I'm putting a lot of shots on target, I can actually see where my bullets are flying. Just like an anti-air gun is going to go ahead and shoot a trace around every couple rounds so they can see what they're shooting at their targets. You're going to be able to do this as well with these BT rounds. And it comes in really clutch, specifically in mid to short range engagements when you're actually point firing, you're not aimed down sights. You can see where your bullets are landing. And then with the bottom magazine, I like to personally keep something like BT down here, but maybe you don't have as much ammunition as me. You can put something like PP. It's all in the bottom magazine. You've probably done a lot of damage to their armor at this point, and really getting any round on target is going to help you. But now we have a very fleshed out magazine. It's going to give us an advantage when we go ahead and tap someone in the head. It's going to go right through level four armor. We're going to go ahead and reduce the chance of RNG, that RNG ricochet chance. Then we have plate defeating ammunition. Then we also have massive health damage dealing ammo while this also does still have good pen. So it's going ahead and destroying air mid, destroying plates, and reducing recoil. And then we also have that tracer down in the loop. We don't want that tracer really high up in the loop because originally when we were putting taps on target, we don't want to give away our position. Imagine we had BT at the very top of this magazine, for example. Sure, it's an armor piercing round, but it's also a tracer. So the immediate advantage we have by getting the drop on someone is gone. They're going to be able to find our position instantly. So we have that a good ways down in the magazine. And if I were to go ahead and save this, now we're going to be in a situation where I shoot something like arm piercing, arm piercing, arm piercing in flesh and recoil reducing, then my tracers and tracers on the bottom. So if I go ahead and load up this 45 round or even this 95 round magazine, you will see the AK-12. It does kick quite a bit, but this ammunition is going to help it out tremendously. And I'll just show you guys that we're shooting those tracers, shooting those armor piercing rounds, and then we get a phenomenal weapon to use. So here we go. just like that and the recoil is so much more manageable by adding that recoil reducing ammunition into the magazine so what do you do when you're actually in raid now we have a massive array of various ammunitions that we've gone ahead and loaded into this i mean right here we have four different ammunitions that we've gone ahead to load in this you're not going to go ahead and loop your magazine when you're repacking them in raid right it's just obnoxious so what i like to do is I go ahead and determine how many magazines I want to bring into raid. If I were to bring in these 30 rounders, I'd probably bring in five of these 30 rounders or four of these 30 rounders, depending on the map and why I plan to actually go ahead and PvP. And I'll do a whole separate video on that, and like how to actually build the correct loadout for your map and your quest. And that seems ridiculous, but people really do not pay enough attention to this. But going back to this, we're going to have likely two spots in our gamma container specifically for ammunition. So here, and here now what ammunition am i going to decide to take in this situation with this magazine that we just made usually i will grab something like a bs or bp it doesn't matter tremendously sure i like to have bp more for those head taps but the longer rate goes on the less likely you are going to be in a situation where you're actually going to get those one taps on people's helmets so i go for bp bs whatever i have more of in my storage container so i don't run out later on and i'll slot one of those in my gamma then i take whatever like the real meat of the magazine is so in this instance it's 7 and 40 or bt the real meat of the magazine if i have a good amount of 7 and 40 i'll go 7 and 40 if i have a good amount of bt i'll go for bt now we're just gonna go ahead and take two different ammo blends and then we'll go for something more of like a standard pack. So what is a standard pack? That means if I'm reloading this in raid and our previous magazine had that interesting loop, interesting blend, interesting top load of armor piercing ammunition, 
what I'll probably do is aim to check the magazine and load it in around 20 of the meat of that magazine, right? And then 10 of the armor piercing or the top load of that magazine and get it ready to go. However, I like to tag mine really quickly. I'll just hit him with a red tag. You can put anything. I usually just tap an S for spent. And now I know this magazine no longer has this loop set up and no longer is ready to one tap. So I immediately know that. And you can quickly tag that while you're doing anything, looting anything, and you'll get that out of your way. So you know what magazines to load. Additionally, if you hold R and then scroll wheel, you can actually go ahead and sort through your magazines in your rig while you're moving around and choose which ones you're reloading. The default system just loads the magazine with the most ammunition in it. Even if you haven't checked the mag, if they're all unknown, the character knows which one has the most ammunition in it. But with this R and scroll wheel, if let's say I've spent two of my four magazines, I want to make sure I'm getting one that has another proper loop set up, but I've packed these other ones. I can R scroll wheel and see exactly which ones I haven't spent. That's a little bit of a hidden tip for you guys. And if you don't have your keybinds completely perfected yet, I'll actually have a video for that in the top right. Now, we probably didn't cover a lot of calibers that you are interested in the game. And the reason for that is I want you to take all the information that I taught you in this video, come up with your own loops, your own top loads, your own bottom loads that go ahead and work for the weapons that you like to utilize, as well as the calibers you like to utilize in the maps you want to play. Not all of our magazines are going to work the same based on what triggers we have unlocked, the targets we're generally engaging, in our different Tarkov financial situations. However, I am very interested with what magazines you guys create now. If you want to leave them in the comments down below, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Just make sure you're utilizing that ammo chart to come up with interesting, cool loops in magazine loadouts. And I want to know, is that frustrating for you guys? I like to go ahead and show you guys as much as I can and what will actually help you with like actionable steps that you can change in Escape from Tarkov. But I also like to show you guys these concepts show you the mentality behind them the thought process behind them so you can adapt these mindsets and then make your own cool builds your own cool magazine loadouts etc your own cool combinations with your stimulants is that annoying do you just want me to see what i recommend or do you actually like the mindset being taught let me know in the comments down below i was like a multi-gladiator super nerdy raider in world of warcraft what does that mean for you guys i was just a high rated dragon killer pretty nerdy pretty acne covered but in that game, you have a lot of buttons, a lot of macros, and I set up the perfect macros for you in Escape from Tarkov. Go ahead and watch that video on screen right now.